Like a new fling, we don't know where this is going or whether it'll all blow up when we start meeting the rest of Alfa Romeo's U.S. bound family next year, but damn, things between us and the 2017 Giulia Quadrifoglio are hot right now. As in, cup to the bedposts hot. The sex appeal expected of an expensive, high-performance Italian car drips from the Giulia's every curve. The Quadrifoglio upgrade piles on the pheromones with a snarling front bumper, a massive diffuser straddled by Ferrari-like exhaust tips, and a, painted, carbon fiber hood and roof. The hardware also arouses. There is a torque vectoring differential, the twin-turbocharged 2.9-liter V6 has Ferrari lineage, and the available Pirelli P0 Corsa Asymmetrico 2 tires and their ridiculously low 60 treadwear rating promise gut-shifting grip, and also incredibly brief intervals between replacements. All of this adds up to a sports sedan that can really romp. With 505 Cavalli at the ready, the Julius horsepower advantage over the BMW M3, the Cadillac ATS-V, and the Mercedes AMG C63 doesn't go to waste, with 60 miles per hour coming up in just 3.6 seconds. The quarter mile flashes by in a blistering 11.9 seconds both figures are class leading and although we didn't have the space to verify it, Alpha claims the Giulia Quadrifoglio can achieve 191 miles per hour. Those sticky Pirelli tires, in combination with the standard iron brake rotors, carbon ceramic pieces are available for $5,500, help the Alpha stop from 70 miles per hour in a rip bruising 143 feet. And we recorded one gram of grip around our skid pad, a limit that's gently approachable although so high that few will ever experience it on public roads. You might think we've gone off the deep end, that the Alpha has tied one thigh high around our eyes. You're expecting us to come to our senses and realize that the Alpha's wiles are only a distraction from the sort of flaws common to semi-exotic Italian cars. We must be excusing curiosities such as an odd or non-functional infotainment system, questionable build quality, or worse because we're blinded by the sedan's sparkling performance and looks. We couldn't be more surprised to declare, for the most part, a great big nope to all that. Truly. The strangest aspect of the Giulia is its lack of a folding rear seat or a trunk pass-through. The rest of the car's execution is spot-on. The well-assembled interior resembles a Mazda 6S business-like environment.